Hello everybody, it's Big Al again from Team Mahal. Boaters for beginners, like I said before, I'm just a mechanic. Bought a boat and trying to figure all this stuff out and I'm figuring it out on my own or I'm watching other YouTube videos or I'm actually going reading the manuals. Most of my stuff is in manuals because a lot of people got YouTube videos out there that's not right, but that's that's your that's their opinion, however they want to do it. I won't do it that way. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk today. What I'm gonna talk to you about is the the NMEA, NMEA 2000 networking system. And what it is is a networking system and it and, it, and it's the National Marine um, National Marine something association. Anyway, Electronic Association, I think it was National Marine Electronic Association. We'll put it at the bottom. And what is that's a standard. Just like you got a network standard, Cat 5, Cat 6, and all this for your house or business, the same thing. So they set the standard. So every manufacturer uses that somehow. I use Garmin. If you look down here, here's all my Garmin stuff. I'm sticking with Garmin. There's an NMEA for Simrad. Everybody's got them, but I'm sticking with Garmin. So today I'm going to show you how to connect it. What I did earlier, I connected my Doppler radome. You'll see that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to connect, um, put my Doppler radome on my network. So let's walk through the components here right now. So first of all, you have the T-block. What a T-block does, it allows you to connect the component to another T-block, to another component. Every component needs a T-block, every component. So here it is. Here's my chart plotter. It's got a T-block. Okay, for it to talk to the next one, guess what? You gotta put that T-block together, okay? For that T-block to talk to another, you gotta put another T-block together. And it keeps going on and on and on. So here you go. Here's the yellow. This is your power. And what I recommend is you put the power in the middle. So if you got four or five more, put this in the middle the best you can, if you can. If you can't, then you have to put it at the end closest to your um, power source. I understand that if you're gonna do that. Oh, what's going on here? Hmm, that's weird. There we go. There we go. So that's going to be it for the power. Now here's the other one. This is my steady cast, and this is a Garmin steady cast. And what this does, this makes sure your 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 true reading is your true reading with your true heading. So what you might run across, you might run across. Sometimes you're at the marina, and you're at the marina, and you turn on your chart plotter, and your boat's just sitting there spinning on the chart plotter, trying to figure out where to go. This will prevent this because this is really accurate. Your chart, your when you turn on at the marine marina, you don't have one of these. It's using your Garmin. And a Garmin is not bad, but Garmin got a separate thing for this to focus on that. That's why I got this. So I'm gonna be installing that. But keep remember what I said. Every component has to have its own T-block. So here you go. So this, this is the T-block for that. This is the T-block for the power. This is the T-block for my for my plotter. Say you say you got a unit that's far from your T-block. Then what you do is you got a cable and you can put another cable in between that. But what they tell you is it should not be 18 feet or three meters from the unit. So it shouldn't be three. If it is, then you can probably need to put another Terminator in there. Okay, so here's what we got. Another, not Terminator, sorry, I said Terminator again, not Terminator, you got to put another T-block in there. So here's what we are. Every T-block, when it's all connected, must have a Terminator. This is a Terminator. That was the female Terminator, and here's your male Terminator. Everyone has a Terminator. Once all the terminators on, once you got your components on, once you got your power connected, now at that point, everything's going to be talking to each other. Everything. Everything's going to be talking to each other. So, everything's connected. Everything's going to be talking to each other. Whatever units you connect up, like I said with mine, you see what I connect up with mine. And that's pretty much it. It's the, in it, the Namiya 2000. It's a pretty simple system. As you can see, uh, you got to mount this somewhere. I'm gonna mount mine back behind my dash. You see, I took all my gauges out, my electrical panel, my throttles, and all that stuff. I'll take this stuff out all the time. So I, I take that and I, and I rewired this so I can have it, so I can come out like this, so it's not hard. But I'm gonna mount this back behind there, and I'm gonna mount it like this. It's gonna be mounted just like this, up against that wall, and then there's all the connectors that come down. And then when I'm, I'm gonna buy another one called a GPS unit. Garmin has a little bitty ball GPS unit. I'm gonna connect that up to it. When I connect that to it, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm going to disconnect this Terminator, connect the T-Block on it, and reconnect the Terminator and connect it up to the T-Block. And it just keeps going on and on and on. So, that's it for now on the Namiya 2000. Like I said, it's the Garmin system. I like it. Um, it allows all your allow, allow data to be transferred between all data, between all items so they're talking to each other. Of course, some items connect directly through the back of the Garmin, but you don't have so many connections back there. Like, like right now, I'm out. So anyway. So I thank you for looking at our video. Again, like I said, I'm just, just
just a normal mechanic out here. I'm, I'm really aircraft mechanic, just trying to do the best I can. I bought a boat and I want to take care of the boat myself and that's why I'm doing it. And I figured these videos will help somebody like me who didn't know, who don't, who never had a boat before, who's learning all this stuff. So hopefully it'll help you. If it does, go ahead and subscribe, like, and then just hit the notification. If you want to hear future videos that I'm making, because I'm going to do the next one to be on there. We're going we're gonna to do promote the one, show the one for our Doppler, installing the Doppler and a little bit of air frame, a frame we put on. And I'm have the one that show the GPS unit that's gonna have its own T block, right? And a terminal at the end, terminated. Alright, thanks again. T Mile, bonus for beginners. Take care.